Thank you, Archbishop. Can we give him a hand, praise? We're so grateful for his life. We're so honored to be here, and uh, our honor to you, Archbishop Harrison Nanga. And uh, what great voices we've heard in these two days. Can we give the Lord some praise for the anointing service of God? Now give yourself a hand clap, all you dignitaries, because you're important. Our job is to give to you from heaven, but you're to receive it. Can you lift your hands and begin to receive right now? Let's just pray in the Holy Ghost. This morning, Apostle John William Kamani uh, and uh, Bishop Kifa Omai shared my scriptures that I had from the Lord. So those have been covered. So I'm just going to give you my title and a couple of, uh, one or two things, and we're going to move into the prophetic. How many want to hear what God is saying? <laughs> Just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. It's happening already. I'm under a very heavy anointing today. I'll tell you this morning, in the 8 o'clock hour, Archbishop, I had a, Apostle, I had a, also I had a visitation from the Lord. And it usually happens like that when a new revival is going to begin. Let me tell you point number one from heaven. Revival has touched down in Kenya. It's beginning right now. Somebody shout. From this month, the middle of the year, as we cross over to the next month in the latter part of the year, we're going to begin to see waves of heaven begin to go. Let me go real fast. I just feel, well, the Lord just beating me up. I'm not going to take time to do that. Lift your hands. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Someone say, let's go. You know, just get in a hurry and just do it. Why wait? Number two, the Lord says, this is going to be the day and the hour of mega churches being built in Kenya. Hallelujah, somebody. The day of hitting a thousand and two thousand people and you get your building situated and you think you've done something big, that day is over. God is going to have millions of people become disciples in the nation of Kenya. That's number three. I prophesy. I prophesy millions of believers are going to become disciples. And we're going to chase the devil straight out of this land. Can someone lift your hands and say hallelujah. hallelujah. The forces of darkness are not going to have their way. We restrain them in Jesus' name. Point number four. Three, we're restraining the devil. And we're chasing them out. Number four, we're chasing them out of Kenya. People that have other designs on this nation to do other things that they want to do, they're not going to have their way. The church is going to stand up. Maybe you can guess. I can't say everything that I'd like to say, but maybe you can guess what I'm talking about. How many know you people of Kenya, the 42 tribes are the people of the soil? You're the people of the soil. Yes or yes? yes. I didn't give you the chance to say no because it's not, it, would be, it would be the wrong answer. You're the people of the soil. Do you like my hair? <laughs> oh, Lord, it's such a job to keep it. Uh, it's, like a management, it's like a management position needed for this. Lion of the tribe of Judah. My friends in New York call me TLK, the Lion King. I have other preachers from Africa say, hi, lion. They write me a message, you know. Hi, lion. <laughs> and everybody's also calling me Yesu all the time. Please, please, Yesu. He's my, he's my boss, okay? I'm related. You can tell, right? But slow down. Don't give me the credit. Somebody put on Instagram. You can have your seats. Somebody put on Instagram a post and they, and they filmed me walking in the street, yeah? And here I am walking with my bag and I was walking in the middle of the road. I guess that's a Kenyan thing, right? To walk in the middle of the road. You don't know the sidewalk on the side. You walk right in the middle of the road. You notice that? And I'm walking like this, you know? And, I, and, and someone sends me the video from Instagram and someone said, I saw Jesus in town today. <laughs> I was like, what? Karadashi. This morning, 
in the eight o'clock hour, I stood in front of my mirror as I was getting ready to leave the house and the Holy Spirit came and stood next to me. Oh, I pray he touches you like that, like he touches me. I, I really pray that. Let it happen right now. There it is. Fire! 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 Oh, my God. All these people that were laying quiet, they got woken up again. It's like fireworks. Lift your hands, everybody. On this section over here, there's people being healed right now. Many diseases, many problems. But get, receive the touch right now. Fire upon you right now. There it is. Yes. The Holy Spirit stood next to me and, and uh, there's a Greek word, kenosis, K-E-N-O-S-I-S, which means an exchange of one thing for another. And I prayed this prayer that I prayed many years ago when a new revival was being uh, formed and birthed in America, a visitation of God. And I said, Lord, take, take him, me, myself. And, and, and possess me, fill me. And I felt it again like many years. It happens in different seasons, different years. It just happened to me this morning. Can you believe that? And here I am today. Here we are today. It happened this morning. And the Holy Spirit just jumped. <sighs> yes, right now, Lord, touch everybody here. Rasta Kondo, who Hondo, Madamana Nesho, who he shaha, Paratera Proshakate, Fataha. The Lord says, Number five, I'm breaking sick or six, whatever, I'm breaking limitations off of you. Lift your hands. The purpose of the anointing, Isaiah 10 27, it was, it was uh, shared here severally. The yoke will be destroyed. The burden taken off your shoulder. The yoke will be off your neck and it will be destroyed because of the anointing. And God says all limitations are being broken and I'm going to help my people, says the Lord, to prosper and succeed. To succeed and prosper. What you put your hand to will begin to succeed. You'll succeed in it. You're going to begin to prosper. I see number seven, six or seven, I see waves of money. I see money coming. Piles like gold and diamonds and jewels and houses and cars and lands being dropped upon the people. The Lord says, you grew up in poverty, but you're stepping out of it in this season, says the Lord. I'm taking you up out of it and you're going to begin to move uh, into the realms and depths of great luxury, great prosperity. Lift your hands. How many would like a beautiful home, a beautiful vehicles? As Apostle Kimani was saying, he covered that for me. For the Lord, for, for us here. It's a whole new entire season beginning today. How many can believe that? When the Lord stands and speaks, it shifts time. It shifts things. It takes you from where you were yesterday to a new tomorrow, a new place. And the Lord says, mega, mega, mega expansion, mega breakout, mega breakthrough, land, property, do you think all the people in Kenya that took the land years ago, even from the formation of the government in the 60s until now, is just for them and some certain families? Lift your hands and say, the devil is a liar. Say, that land is mine. I, I live here. My feet are on the soil. I'm of Kenyan descent. And it shouldn't be for the other ethnicities. I don't want to name the names. You know what I mean? The other people, the other ethnicities that come here, foreigners that come here and group together and begin to build industries and build things and take land. And they did it for even in the last generation. The Lord says, now it's time for those things to be flipped over into the servants of God, flipped over into the hands of the people of God. And the Lord says, do you think I can't do it? God says, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? <sighs> he said, I sent my word, uh, and it'll prosper in the thing I've sent it to do. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I see it. The days of the large churches being in Nigeria. We love Dr. Paul Anenche. We love Bishop 
Dag Hewitt Mills, what great men. We love Bishop David Oyedapo. We love uh, uh, Apostle Dr. Enoch Adapoye. Millions of people cumulatively in their churches. Uh, David Yangi Cho, who's gone to heaven, built the first church in the world of a million people. Can I prophesy something very advanced to you? I hope this is an advanced class, not just for children. I don't want to scare the children. I want to talk about adult things. Are you ready to grow? Milk uh, you have for a while, but then you need the meat. The Naomi, what do you call it? Naomi Choma. The burnt meat. Ah. How many can handle what God wants to do? God says, can a, can a church like that be in Kenya? Can a church like that, to seat not even more than tens of thousands of people, be in Kenya? Can I prophesy again in this house that the Lord is going to have you do it? Somebody shout to God with a voice of triumph. Right now, give the Lord a hand of praise. Go ahead and do it. Marande le shaka lahasa. Yes, Lord. Isaiah 45, 2 and 3 says, I'll give you treasures from hidden places. And he says, I'll give you all kinds of treasures from places known and unknown. And he said, by this you'll know that I'm the Lord your God, who even calls you by your own name. Because why? Because of the way I'm blessing you. The Lord says, I'm summoning people forth. How many could feel that? How many want to put your hand up and put it in the hand of the Lord and take it and say, Lord, bless me. Say it now, bless me. Talk to the Lord. Some things don't happen because you haven't said it. Number eight or nine, wherever I am, the Lord says, get ready to, to have power confessions in your voice. Begin to speak things that are beyond what you can even uh, imagine in your mind right now. Because Ephesians 3.20 said, beyond what you ask or think, I'll give it to you. Isaiah 45 is very powerful. Go to the 11th verse further. It says, concerning my sons, uh, concerning the things I'm going to do, you ask me and I'll show you. Even Psalm 2 verse 8 said, ask of me and I'll give you the nations for your inheritance. And then it said, now here, here's the key point. It said, concerning the works of my hands, you command me. Can you believe God told us to command him to do something? Can you believe that? Lift your hands and catch that revelation. A lot of people live in circumstances and you stay there because you're, you're just stuck. Your environment is wrong. Your thinking is wrong. You're not, you're not broken out enough. But the Lord says the anointing is coming today. The visitation is coming upon this conference. And the Lord says, I'm causing a breakthrough in the mindsets of people. That you are all corporately in this ministry, in this house, and all the churches, come on, all the preachers, lift your hands that are from other ministries. Let the fire come on you from here. This is an epicenter, but you're going to take this and go, go with it where you're going. The Lord says, I'm going to put it in your hands. I'm going to put it in your mouth. I'm going to put it in your mind. I'm going to put it in your heart. Can you not even imagine and begin to believe what I'll do for you, says the Lord, if you could just believe me. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 1, and he says now, without faith, verse 6, it's impossible to please him. How many have lost some things in your life? God says, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing back restoration of stolen things. And the Lord says, the thief has to pay back seven times. And the Lord says, they that rule well will be counted worthy of double honor. And Isaiah 61 says, for your shame, you'll have double. Double for your trouble. Someone shout, I'm getting double for my trouble. Job 42, verse 10. Job got double for his trouble. He had 3,000 camels. Now he had 6,000 camels. He had 7,000 sheep. Now he had 14,000. He lost a family in the, play, the situation that attacked, which went on for about 18 months historically. We, we found out about the life of Job, but after that, he got a new family. He got more things. Lift your hands. How many ready for more things? New things. He says his daughters were the most beautiful in all of the provinces. Lift your hands. God can restore. Archbishop, you said something yesterday that stuck out in my spirit. 
I heard it in the spirit realm, not in the voice realm. Not from the preacher, but I heard it in the heavenlies. You said some people have lost the position, but now you're going to go back into a position at a higher position. And I saw the Lord do like this, like wave his hand, take myself and other everybody, and just push us like this and then put, a, put us right on top. How many are ready to go right on top? And what happened in between doesn't matter. And the Lord's going to touch you with a Manasseh touch. Manasseh in the Bible, M-A-N-A-S-S-E-H, means the Lord made me to forget my trouble. God says it doesn't matter who took what from you. It doesn't matter who maligned you. It doesn't matter who subverted you. It doesn't matter what adversaries you had. They're all defeated and under your feet. If you can understand what God does to the enemies. Psalm 89, the famous scripture from this house. You preach it. It's preached all the time here. God is restoring. I hear the word restoration. I don't care who muddied you. I don't care who threw what on you. It's coming off today. The rivers of heaven, the rivers of life, uh, the fire of the Holy Ghost, uh, the outpouring of the touch of heaven, uh, the Holy Ghost himself in, in physical reality in the spirit is coming to touch you. Lift your hands and take it right now. Take it from this altar right now. This is a holy altar. Take it. Take, shut your hands out. Take it. It's a transaction happening here. From today, I prophesy. From today. Yeah, that's it. That's it, man. Take it, bro. Take it, bro. Fire's on. I, I think I should come close to people sometimes. I'm, I'm too far away. This whole section right here, just, just stand up right now. Just stand up right now. This section right here. Just stand up. Everybody right here in this section. Stand up. Join hands. Join hands. Join hands. Let the touch of fire hit you right now in Jesus' name. Touch right now. That's it. Yes, 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 yes. Let's take it, take it, take it, take it. All the way to the back, all the way to the back. Fire from the Holy Ghost. Take it right now. Woo, there it is. This section right here, stand up. Quick, 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 I'm on a time clock. Quick, quick, join hands, join hands, join hands. Join hands. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost hit you right now. In the name of Jesus. Fire! This section right here. Go ahead, sister. Boy, I need some bodyguards, I think. Okay. Right here, right here, right here. Take the fire. Here it comes. Here it comes. Touch, 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 touch right now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my Jesus. This section right here. I got to do this very fast. Section right here. Stand up. Stand up, take it, join hands together. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost touch you right now, impartation. Yeah, right now, in Jesus' name, receive it. The Lord says, I'm inserting my mind in yours. My ways are higher than your ways, but do you not know, says the Lord. All the preachers stand up. Join hands. Do you not know that I can take you to places you've never been? I tell you what, Archbishop, you know this in your heart of hearts. I know you feel this. I know you think about it a lot. By the Spirit, I could just say that. We, we care about the mass move of God in the nation. We care about the mass move of God in East Africa. We care about African continent. Who... Who was saying to me yesterday prophetically uh, an African assignment? I was apostle, an apostle. I was in another meeting and he said, you're here on the soil. He said to me, Africa, Africa, Africa. How did you come here as a missionary? How did you come here to, to lift up the nation even to the places of mentality and first world knowledge and understanding that we have where I come from, New York City? The likes of Donald Trump, the likes of the... You know, the, the Clinton administration, my father, was a political leader in America. My father signed the Northern Ire the North Ireland uh, Peace Treaty with England. My father put that together and brought President Bill Clinton to Belfast to sign it on Air Force One, the presidential jet of the American president. 
So that's where I come from. So why would I keep it to myself? I come from walking with millionaires and billionaires and business industry leaders. Why would I keep that to myself? I was an executive before I went into the ministry. The Lord Jesus appeared to me and took me into the ministry. I, I can't share all that right now. Supernatural visitation. Why should I keep that to myself? Lift your hands. Join hands together. Join hands with your neighbor. The Lord says, number 10 or 11, wherever I am, unity in the house. Unity. Psalm 133. Psalm 133. The oil came upon the head and then down the face and the beard and onto the garment. And because of unity, I'll command my blessing. The Lord says, you preachers, you servants, stop hating another man. Stop hating other people that have gone further than you. Get on your knees and say, God, anything good that anybody has, I can have if I, did what, if I do what they did. You see, Apostle Kamani, you see uh, Archbishop Harrison, you see uh, Reverend uh, Ampia Kofi. Uh, can you do what they've done? Can you walk what they've walked through? Stop hating. Get rid of the hatred. Lift your hands. I pray this anointing of love. Love, the spirit of love, the spirit of love. Some of you are going to get free from insecurities from this, this touch right now. You're just going to be gushing out with love. Your self-esteem, I prophesy to every preacher, your self-esteem and your confidence is going to begin to go up by the breakthrough of the anointing. Every limitation, God says, I'm taking out of your way. The Lord says, can I, I've prospered others. Can I not prosper you? The Lord says, can I not raise you? Can I not elect you? You are my elect. You're my chosen. Can I take you to higher places? Yes, I can. Can you believe me for it now? Somebody before the middle of the end of uh, the middle and the end of next week, you're going to receive a large sum of money. It's going to come supernaturally. Lift your hands if you want to claim that. Somebody, I see money, 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 money for your vision. The Lord says we're right there. Now the provision is for the vision. Provision, P-R-O means for, F-O-R. Everybody lift your hands all over the house. Receive this touch of grace. Father, let the fire of the Holy Ghost come upon them right now. There it is. Receive it! Your day of breakthrough is here. It was shared this morning, 1 Samuel 30, verses 7 and 8. When David inquired of the Lord and said, shall I pursue? Shall I go after them? Shall I overtake and recover? In verse 8, the Lord says, yes, do it, my son. I'm with you. Some people need to get that aggressive fire. That's what's next, the aggressive fire. I mean boldness, that you, you stand, you don't even know yourself. You say, Lord, this is really out of protocol. This is really out of normality. The Lord says, did I call you to be a normal person and to be like everybody else? Apostle Suna came over to me and whispered in my ear before the session, and uh, he said, uh, you have the prophetic. Let it go. I said, okay. All right. All right. I'll take that. Let's shift it. In 2000, the Lord sent me here and said, I want a new government in Kenya. In a year, it was arranged. And then the Lord said, Mwai Kibaki will be the president. And he'll be the Joseph, an administrator, to take the economy and things higher. It all happened. And then the 2007 election, the 2013 election, people were asking me all the time, what's going to happen in 2012? I, I looked at him, I said, I don't know. Because the Lord never said 2012 to me. Because the election didn't happen in 2012. Who would know that but God? So I never made a pronouncement about the 2012 election. Because it happened in 2013. And God knew that. And then God said what was going to happen. 
the other cities being developed all over the land. God says major construction and reformation infrastructural development is going to happen all across Kenya. The angel of the Lord came to me on a Friday morning in a conference in Nakuru. I was telling Apostle Kamani. And the angel of the Lord came and put a document in my hand. And it's, it, was a, it was a charter constitutional certificate for a city. And I looked at the name and the vision and it said Nakuru City. And God says, declare it. So I took my hand, I slapped it on the pulpit. Boom, the power of God hit the people. One year later to the day, President Uhuru Kenyatta, the same morning, exactly one year, the first Friday, and signed the Kuru to become a city. Lift your hands. It's no longer a town, a dusty town. It's going to be. And Apostle Kamani confirmed it to me. He says it's happening. Gong Town over there. Machakos over in the east. Uh, the coast uh, all over the country. The middle of the nation uh, to the west, which I've not been to the west yet. But we're going to see a lot of things happen there. Look at the roads. Look at the bypasses. Look at the superhighway. Who could imagine? Who could imagine? Look at the new expressway. Can you imagine? Look at this. As the, as the Archbishop was saying, it's become, can I tell you, Kenya is no longer, I prophesy, it's, I declare it really, it's no longer a third world nation. Somebody shout. You've at least gone to number two and try to climb to number one. I want to finish something I was saying to the preachers. Lift your hands again over there. All of you preachers. Some preachers sit there like this, you know. Like this. You had too many lemons in the morning. You need to smile and just go, ah, oh, yeah. Let yourself go in the presence of God. You know, I'm all right or else I wouldn't be standing here. So I think you can trust me. Hello? Hello? Are you there? The anointing's falling like fire. Can you feel it? Get, get knowledgeable. Study. Go online. Get your worldview up. Learn international affairs. Everybody that's anybody. And begin to study finance. Begin to study markets. Begin to study industries. Begin to find out if you're an entrepreneur, how you could be the best one. If you're a preacher, how you could be so filled with knowledge that people can't stop listening to you because you're so brilliant. Ask God for that right now. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's, let's pray right now. Let's pray. Pray for God to advance you. Out of every environment that's limiting you. The Lord says the, 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 the yoke of poverty is being destroyed. I'll close this out with number 12. By the way, I, I'm not much on this, uh, doing this, but uh, just to help you, just to help you, I want to help you. I wrote this book, uh, Prophetic Keys to Successful Living. It's brilliant and it's loaded. And uh, Archbishop Harrison Nanga has has written the great forward. You need to see what he wrote. Amen? So if you're just curious enough, go and get it. It's like a half-price special. And you can get this. They're at the, at the exits there. You can get it. Amen? Say hallelujah. I close. If this is number 12. I'm breaking the spirit of poverty. I'm taking it out of you. I'm ripping it out of you violently, says the Lord. It's going to be like fire. And you're going to begin to look around and say, why did I live like that all this time? Lord, help me. I repent. Let's have a repentance service. Let's have a repentance time. Say, Lord, I am so sorry for allowing myself to live in this state of life. Uh, God never intended you to have anything down, broken, messed up, dirty. He wants you to live in a palace. How many know we're kings and queens? Yeah. If you're a man, you're a king. If you're a lady, you're a queen. And where is the king or the queen without their palace? Without their palace? 
Lift your hands and say, Lord, I'm going to have mine. Let's pray in the Holy Ghost. Just everybody stand up for a minute right now. And as we're about to jump off here, if you have a seed when I finish, not now, you could begin coming and just plant something into this grace because I'm carrying this anointing for success, prosperity, breakthrough. It's all entwined with this visitation of the Holy Ghost. If you tap the grace, you can receive it. You can have it too. The Lord's going to make people millionaires. He's going to make you prosperous. He's going to be, ha, cause you to have a successful business. You in ministry. You're going, to begin to, you're going to begin to flourish like never before. I break what's limiting and held you, limited you and held you back. And I command in Jesus' mighty name the flood of money for your work to begin to come to you in Jesus' name. It's going to begin to happen. Clap your hands, all you people. Hallelujah. Let's shout out to God with a voice of triumph. Come on, give God one shout. Come on, give him a shout of praise right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Do you love me? I sure love you. Can you blow me a kiss? Can you blow me another one? Ah, oh, I feel the love. I feel the love. I feel the love. Dr. Edward, you're the man. Let's give Dr. Edward a hand clap. What a great servant. Let's thank God again for Archbishop Harrison and all the great preachers, the great preachers. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I love you, and I'll see you again real soon. Be blessed, my friends. Dear brethren, in Psalms 119, 105, the Bible says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Truly, God has sent prophet Dr. Thomas Manton IV to proclaim and declare his word of abundance and prosperity prophetically unto the nations. Thus, brothers and sisters in Christ, I urge you, just as the Bible says in Matthew 10, 41, whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet reward. Let us welcome and embrace the prophet of God by supporting his ministry. You can sow a seed, you can send your love offering, you can support or partner in the ministry program using the details displayed on your screen. For when the prophet of God decrees a blessing upon you, indeed, you shall be blessed.